Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Well, should we do a theme song? Okay. Okay. Yes. Don't ask. 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 Don't ask.
Candy ass is oh, next. Oh, Candy ass is next, everybody. Um, Sensitive Keith, you know, bravo for you for caring, because most people would not, or take yeah. advantage of the situation. Mm, and swoop. Swoop. Do the swoop. Swoop on in. Boop. Got Boop. your girl. Sensitive Keith here to swoop on in. <laughs> yeah, Sensitive Keith coming to get your girl. Swoop. Aw, girl. I'm Aww. Sensitive Keith. I'm Sensitive Keith. Put you your look head on alone. my shoulder. Yeah. You want to talk about that breakup? Let's go and get a chicken sandwich. <laughs> You oh. are really. She, that's like the third time she's talked about getting a chicken sandwich. I have to say, <laughs> I love them. We talk about it a lot now. That's yeah. true. It is definitely part of many of these shows. At this point. <laughs> well, it's because it smells like chicken in here. Oh God, it's so great. It's the best. Yeah. Why wouldn't we ever anywhere else? I don't know. No. I don't want to do this in a place where I don't smell chicken. Agreed. Yeah. I I want to do this in. A I've place. always said that. Yeah. yeah, those are my. Yeah, smells like chicken. Number one. Yeah. What do I always say is number two? It has a bar, but not a bartender around, so you have to kind of go like on the other side of exactly. the bar to get a drink. Yes. Has liquor just and has on two a table yeah. that I can see from here, yeah. just oh, sitting yeah. there. Yeah. And That's it number three. You. Yeah. Teases you, but you can't drink it. Can't drink it, because that's stealing. Mm-hmm. Those are my three things. So. And it took a long time to find this place. <laughs> it's it's that's why we were on hiatus for so long. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We were just location squatting. We were squatting. gone for over a year because we were squatting. We did kind of do some squatting. We did kind of squat. Mm. That last show. Basement. Yeah, basement show. Basement show. Basement show. We should do one annually. Just, just sneak in there? Sneak in there. No, we could walk right in. That's true. They I'm not friends with any of those people anymore. <laughs> that might be dangerous. I don't think anyone would notice. Actually, That's true. No one basement. will notice. <laughs> this place has a basement. Oh, well, let's just do it here. It's very hard. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, there's no, no stairs. stairs. <laughs> so, sensitive Keith, I think you should swoop in <laughs> and uh, be attentive in there for the people who need you. If somebody needs a good finger bang, you're yeah. their man. <laughs> I mean, your name is literally Sensitive Keith. You got sensitive fingers. <laughs> and sensitive tendencies. And tendons in your fingers yeah sensitive tendons it's mm -hmm. good you need that mm -hmm. strong but mighty but flexible yeah perfect yeah we Here did that go, really well Keith. you're welcome enjoy your winter <laughs> <laughs> all right this one's from oh. candy ass candy ass says what do you think will happen to donald trump when all of these investigations are wrapped nothing yeah, yeah, honestly, that's how yeah. I feel. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Nothing will happen. Yeah, nothing. nothing will. There'll be a lot of talk about him going to jail. Um, I do believe we're going to see Jared Kushner being led out of wherever the fuck he's hiding in handcuffs crying. Oh, that will oh, happen. Man. Honestly, that would no. be enough for me. Yeah, that's good enough. Really? You don't want to... I'm, I'm so desensitized now that, like, anything would be enough for me. The government's so corrupt and has been corrupt since its inception. So, yeah. I mean, I, they will be pushed out eventually because there's more people who don't think like that. But I think it's a race right now because the administration and like-minded people who believe in this administration are trying to acquire more money than there are people <laughs> in the country. And, if they, and I think it's just a race. But it's, there are more it's like people. A war. It's yeah, like a race war. it's it's a race war. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race. War. It's basically a race war. It is. It is because it's a race. It's like a to race get slash all war. the money. Yeah, and and they're racing to war. Win, yeah, with the citizens. Well, the war is the race. The race is the war. It's a race war. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. So we'll find out how this race war ends. <laughs> you know what? I think it's all gonna get. Tied up very nice and neatly. Oh, I thought we were clapping. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, brush my ready. hands. <laughs> good answer. Yeah. Good, good, good for us. I thought we were clapping for ourselves. Well, why wouldn't, why wouldn't we? I have no idea. Um, I think he will uh, he's gonna be lose okay. the battle but win the race war. Yeah, he's going to win. You think so? He's a winner. I figured he would win the battle but lose the race war. I hope. He's not losing anything. No, no. he's not going to. He's, he's not a person of the year. Yes. Did you know that? Can't he just like wander like half naked or something in the middle oh. of the street in like two or three years, like being so like far gone? Like it's gonna Stop happen. Anything. I feel like everybody's like, oh, this day in Donald Trump news, president totally senile. Nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> the president's totally senile right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we just don't really have proof. Well, 
depends on. I feel like there's a lot I really of proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could wallpaper several building establishments in proof. <laughs> but it wouldn't matter. I think there's a whole museum so exhibit. To answer the question, nothing matters. Doesn't matter. We're all going to die. Yeah. yeah. Be nihilistic. Just like your heroes, like Hemingway yeah. and F. Scott Fitzgerald and, and, and Zelda Fitzgerald and Tesla. Because those people definitely <laughs> did not suck. <laughs> yeah. Those people were fun to be around. Yeah. Just so, like us. Yeah, just be fun. Everything's going to shit. You will never own a house. So just be just fun. Be fun. Just have just fun. Just have fun with it. Yeah. Hedonism. And if you buy a house, you're not going to keep it. No. It's going to be eventually right. taken away. You're going to be able to afford that. Yeah. It's going to take it from you. Yeah. For hedonism, sure. Hedonism, the fun nihilism. Yeah. The fun nihilism. The hedonism. All right. Did we get off track there or did we No, I think we solved all the world's race. problems. Yeah. yeah. We got to the bottom. Race war. Got it. Oh my god, this one's from Free Fartman's ass! Yes! Yeah! You wanna read it? Okay. Okay. What do you do when you run into your ex? Run away, cry, or make awkward conversation? Or all of these? That's what you do. That's what you Could do. Could you hear that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I when thought I did that quietly. <laughs> I thought I did that in my hand so you couldn't hear it. What would you do? <laughs> if I ran into my ex? Do you, like, Ugh, Brian Sexton. <laughs> Fifth grade. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we held hands on the back of the bus for at least oh. a week. And Sam's getting heated. Hold on. Then there was Oof. an ice storm, and we didn't go back to school for like three weeks. And I think he broke up with me somewhere in there. Oh, man. And I had to ride the bus with him after that. I just sat in the front of the bus. I went out with a guy named Michael Sexton in <gasps> sixth grade. Shut up. Yeah. I can't. I will not. Michael Sexton. And we went out for a week. Yeah, same. Went out for a week. And um, then, like, would refuse to come to the phone because this was the time of, like, home phones. I didn't even call him once. And then I saw him at a church fair, and he had another girl. He had this girl with a backpack on. (gasps) And was just like, I'm with her now. She had supplies. (laughs) That's how she won it. That's how she won it. Oh, my God. And I felt so embarrassed. I was like, I need to leave this church fair. My friends were like, you are overreacting. But you weren't. I was hurt. Yeah. It wasn't my first rejection. <laughs> I need to think about <laughs> family interactions. But, I mean, it was outside the first, of like, the family. yeah, outside of the family. Like, here's my chance. Someone who really values me. Those sextons. We should get down to the bottom of where their name comes from. Uh, uh, uh um. Genealogy. Well, not, just, not genealogy, uh, but what do like, you. What, like a name, what, it, what a name means. Um. It's not like entomology. Entomology is the that's words. Bugs. Yeah, that's bugs. But it's it's yeah. so, it's something with an e and homology at the end of it. Okay, there's definitely homology. Let's find out. Let's find out. Do, do, We're do, finding do, out. Do, do, you googling do, it. Do, How do, you get do, to do, the do, bottom do, of someone's do, last name? Do, what does it mean? Do, what does it mean? Do, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? So this sextant is telling me. It would be Oh, that sounds boring. Anthroponomastics or anthroponomy. So what's the anthroponomy of origin sexton. of sexton? Uh, let's find out. Wait, do they just up. have sex at home? Uh, there is a website called Behind, Behind the Name. They're the everywhere, <laughs> so I would assume so, yeah. <laughs> sex, I'm sure it's England. Yeah, what was that thing that your grandmother said one time? Like, oh, we didn't have TV, so oh what do you think God. we did a lot? My grandma, <laughs> my, no, my grandma, who we call Nani, because she's Italian, um, we all are, she said once, we used to have a lot of kids because, you know, there was no TV back then. <laughs> That's how she explained oh, it Oh, we used to have a lot of kids because there like, was you no know, TV. She was like, you know, the reason we all had so many kids is because there was no TV. She was like, there was nothing else to do. Not because, like, you wanted the children to entertain <laughs> you. I mean, she said, right. She said it in a really thick Italian accent that I cannot for the life of me emulate, but mm. you get the idea. It yeah. was funnier in the accent. So Sexton... Uh, yeah, it's funny to make fun of people with accents. Yeah, yeah hilarious. Right. Really? 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 <laughs> you guys made a joke about race four and... <laughs> <laughs> um, occupational name for a Sexton, Middle English Sexteen, a person who is a caretaker for a church or graveyard. Oh, graveyard wow. of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> church of butts. Exactly. To have sexes on with. 
<laughs> well, we got to the bottom of that. Yeah, I think so. Now we've all learned something. Or do a one-woman show. <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah. If you want to get down to it. Yeah, see your ex, just start doing a one-woman show at them. And then that usually Here avoids go. Here we go. the interaction of, t you know, yeah, all you together. Have, to have the awkward yeah. conversation. Or right, free Fartman's ass. Uh, run away from your exes. Cut them all out. Mm -hmm. Yep. It just leads to a better, easier life. Yeah, I agree. We got Tone Balone on the line. Oh, Tone Balone's Tone here. Ah, oh, Tone Balone. He always has issues washing parts of his body. Mm. <laughs> Let's see what it is today. Maybe it's why did I go home from Thanksgiving so early? Is that oh. the question? Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. Oh. We're gonna have to hear about that. I know. I really don't know why. He said he had to go take a nap. Okay, I know what that means. Mm -hmm. so he had to go take a nap when there was a perfectly good couch right there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There were like seven couches. I'm sure there were. Yeah. yeah it's a grandma's just... house. Right. With doors All they do close. is couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other furniture, just couches wrapped in plastic. Couldn't be bothered to just take a nap in front of his whole family. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of us. Yeah. Do. We That's literally all did. Doesn't love you. Anyway, is that the question? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the question is wash these dishes that's oh, why he that's left early yeah that's why he, he left did not early do any dishes oh man that's interesting huh i that actually wonder if he did that you. while i was loading the dishwasher like a woman listen this is a chick sure. show all we do is talk about our feelings our boobs our boobs and the our things periods. that we love to do like washing breastfeeding stay at home uh, Stay at home. home. Uh, take pills to Burn numb you out from the realities of your life. Uh, uh, get emotional about things. Yeah, why not? Ruin childhoods. Ruin, uh, ruin childhoods. Well, yeah. they didn't want those kids anyway. Come, come now. You know who ruins things are children. Oh, yeah. They are well, the that's ruiners. why no one here has any <laughs> okay. Talk about ruiners. Yeah. <laughs> I had a phone conversation with my mom yesterday where I was talking about how, uh, you know, when parents interact with children and you're just like, wow, you... I know how many hours a week you spend with that kid, and it's no like it's less than ten. Just the way that they're sort of like, oh, well, I I don't know like I don't know what to do with you. It's like he's a toddler. He wants you to hold him, or yeah. he doesn't want to eat that. Him. Yeah. Do you know a lot of rich people? Um, I used to nanny for a lot of rich people. Uh, That's why I'm just so you're like. like that's I'm like, you spend 7.2 hours a week with your toddler. I had that conversation with my mom. She's like, well, you know, a lot of children aren't planned. You weren't planned. And then that <laughs> opened the door. Did you cry? <laughs> no, because I've heard it before. <laughs> I was born nine months exactly uh, after my mom's birthday. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was like a birthday present that they didn't know was coming. Wait, your mom didn't know she was pregnant for nine months? No. No, because they got, they got married when she was three months pregnant. Did they know then? Yeah, that's why they were getting married. <laughs> that's why, that's why you got married, married too. in the 70s. That's why you got married. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why I, my parents got married, too. Huh. It was really romantic, mm -hmm. from what I understand. My mom was like, I, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had sex yeah. once, so, yeah. 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 You're that's, forever. That's enough for the rest of my life. Yeah. I guess we're forever then. Or at yeah, least one more baby. <laughs> <laughs> gotta even it out. We gotta have one or two more. Yeah. To really make this worth then, it. Yeah. Then we'll go our separate ways. And then I'll find someone else. Okay, let's take a poll. Who here has parents who are still together? Oh. Okay. So really? the minority in the room. Mm -hmm. As in most rooms. Two out of six. Two out of six. Don't, wait. Don't, no. The, Five I'm sorry. Of, 25 people. Yeah, we have at least 25 There's people. There's at least 25 people. people. They're just really quiet. Yeah. I They're captivated. Because of all the bright lights up here at the stage. <laughs> They're hanging on every word. Yeah. All you can hear is 25 people breathing in and out. Well, right? I'm assuming you can hear that. It's a tense episode. Who knows if we're going to get all these problems solved. <sighs> How am I going to wash these dishes? <laughs> You just wash them, Tony. You just or put them you in the dishwasher. leave early. Or you, you just gotta leave, take, you a gotta nap take a nap at home. Mm. I think you answered your own damn question, Tone Balone. Did he ask that on Thanksgiving? Yes. What the fuck? He literally did that while I was putting dishes in the dishwasher? Yes. <sighs> All right. You just stick them in, Tone. You know how to do that, right? <laughs> yeah, Tone just knows how to do stick that. Stick it in. Yeah, Tone knows how to bone. Bone those dishes, Tone. Bone those dishes, just stick them in that gaping dishwasher. Yeah. 
You get it. Yeah, tone bone. Bone that tone. Dishes. <laughs> Everyone's sufficiently disgusted. Let's move on. All right, next. This is from Jenny Sparkles from Jenny Sparkles at Murder.com. She's, oh. she's back. I don't know if I'm okay with this. I'm pretty sure she's going to kill us. <laughs> don't tell her the address of this bar. It's too late. It's everywhere. It's <laughs> no. Jenny Sparkles asks Dear Jen and Liz, hmm. I was just wondering the best place to bury a body. Oh. Thanks so much. Bye. The cemetery. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. I was going to say a forest preserve. You're just asking to get caught. Yeah, you're right. A cemetery. A cemetery. Like a freshly d- dug grave, right? right? And just like re dig <laughs> it, put the body in there, and then mash clear. it down. Very 1800s of you. That Thank I, you. Um, I don't have real life experience with that. I just answered it quickly. Why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen. I mean, that just made me more. Suspicious. I'm just. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. I think if you want to be the best, you gotta emulate the best. Mm-hmm. You gotta fake the funk until you got the funk of your own. I think you gotta read some serial killer autobiographies, some accounts, figure out what they did. Very disturbing, yet very effective. But is the body dead? Because then you're just hanging on to a That's dead body scary. while you read a book. Like it takes me a long time to read a book. Really? I mean, long enough to where the body would start smelling. Like, it was going to take me like three days to read a book because I'm doing other stuff. Well, also part of a body is like you got to move it. You know what yeah, I mean? You like can't, you can't. You got to move fast. You got to move it until you get it to its final place where you're like, you okay. Keep a yeah, this is so. Done. Do you don't kill the person until yeah, after you've read the book? Right. About I serial think, killers. Well, that's what she means. Like, oh, do your okay. research, become the best before you yeah. kill the person. Right. Be yeah. prepped. You know, like you don't go to medical that makes school sense. without. All right. But what if you just come into a body? That's different. I guess we could assume this wasn't murder. Maybe she just found the body, in which case... Maybe she's got it in in. a deep freeze or something. Oh. She's got it in a deep freeze. She's got it like in a a lie hole. Lots of serial killers keep bodies on ice for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Where do you get acid? I don't know. I don't either. We talk about this acid thing a lot. I do? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, we on the podcast, but you bring it up always. Well, I think cause <laughs> that's Liz's go-to. That's Liz's go-to. That's my go-to for body decomposition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you put it in a barrel. Organic. But I don't know where to get acid. Or the Hoffa do method. Do she I know? Likes to use Maybe the I do method. know where to get acid. Don't cross me. Don't cross me. I know where acid comes from. So what do we think about this dead body thing? <laughs> uh, Acid. Acid? Acid. Acid. Cool. All right. But we still don't know where to get acid. Cool. Okay. Whatever. Home Depot. I'll get a new carpet. You probably Home Depot, right? Home Depot or online. The internet, Amazon.com. Nobody's tracking. Nobody's tracking that. So I should be cool. Or she should be cool. This is from Franklin Jefferson, Washington. Dearest Elizabeth Lincoln. I've just received your letter. I'm sorry I couldn't have responded sooner, but ever since we've found a cure for footworms, life in the scientific laboratory has become quite chaotic, as Kalina may attest to. The only thing I can surmise from your correspondence is that you two had been indulging in spirits. Perhaps not the best time for letter writing, but I certainly cannot fault you for that. I myself from time to time have trousered. Trousered? Yeah, I think. After a long day of scientific research. Once I even lost my monocle! Exclamation point. Perhaps, instead of a letter, next time you should just send for me. We are both aware of the unreliability and ineptitude of the Pony Express. This letter looks at least several centuries old. In regards to Kalina, I must speak to her immediately. Please inform her to meet me in my office for... With. Regards, Franklin Jefferson, Washington. What? Again. No question. No, I feel like that might just be from the past. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. But from the past. yeah, I don't see a question in here. Yeah. It seems like they've mistaken my last name for someone else's. Or so maybe that was your last name in a in past life. In another life. Yeah. <gasps> was that related to Abraham Lincoln? That would be super cool. Oh my God. That would be tight. It's always good to be on the right side of things. <laughs> yeah. And he was at the rightest side of history he could have been back then. Oh, yeah. So basically, I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. I think is, that's what we get out of that's that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I, cool. I will, that's yeah. neat. That's pretty amazing. Ooh. 
this next question is from gdump69 at yahoo.com mm, gary dumpkin bitch <laughs> <laughs> gary dumpkin writes so i have some problems i just lost my job because my boss thinks i stole something but i didn't and now i don't have a job or any money and i won't be able to pay for gas and i think my girlfriend's cheating on me and i think she wants to break up with me but i love her and i want to marry her and even if she did dug a rub and tug also my mom kicked me out of the house because <laughs> I had some friends over when she was at Aunt Judy's and my friend and me got drunk and made a mess of the house and broke her precious moments, but I tried to that clean it up. Sentence. But my mom came home early and she saw the big mess and I got in big trouble. And she said, you're just like your father. And now she kicked me out and I don't have nowhere to stay set in my car and I have to poop outside and there's no toilet paper. I used some leaves. I think I have a rash in my butthole. Please help. Should we Gary? save that for its own episode? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to just like save that. We can do a one-off. That's going to be a mini answer, episode. Yeah, each yeah, of those that's questions. Cool. Answer TBD. Okay, for yeah. To be you're, determined, you're Gary. getting your own episode. We're going to take some time. We're going to give you a we're life gonna plan. Apart. We're going to yeah. really sit down and yeah. work this one out. Yeah, yeah. And it'll, that episode will be for you, Gary Dumpkin. So stay tuned. For stay tuned, Gary Subscribe. Dumpkin. Yeah. Rate us on iTunes. Yeah, write a rate review. Us on iTunes. Download everything. Download all the things. Download all the things. And Even buy donate. And donate to our Patreon. 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 You got it. Patron. Yeah. Patreon. It's like Patron, but Patron. <laughs> Pop that. Yeah, shots. <laughs> okay. All right, so stay tuned for that answer. This next question is from Not Cousin Shelly. <gasps> oh, Not Cousin Shelly. I have. Why is my family the worst? Oh my God, what's wrong with them? I don't know. Uh, I try to be polite about it, but I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, not cousin Shelly. Not her definitely real email address. I have a terrible case of sewer ass. It's been almost a week now, and every time I fart, it smells like rotten eggs. What should I do? I'm tired of clenching my butt cheeks at work, even though it's keeping my butt muscles toned AF. Oh, I can answer that for Shelly. No problem. <laughs> um, I have the same problem. And I recently purchased, like, padded underwear that's supposed to cushion and absorb your farts. Shut the what? fuck up. I, that's real? It's great. It's great. Fart underpants? Yeah, fart underpants. She just needs to, Are they like, called thunderpants? <laughs> <laughs> they should be. You should get up on, you should get up on that. Liz MacArthur's Thunderpants. Oh, man, why didn't I invent that? No, you have time. You have time. I don't think so. You're already wearing them on your butt. Are you wearing them right now? No. Watch out for Thunderpants. Coming soon to a Patreon near you. Now that you I know what get that is. want to get invited back to parties again for Patreon? Is that what it's called? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, get some Thunderpants. Thunderpants. Not Cousin Shelly? Nope. If this is my cousin Shelly, she's a pharmacist. Oh, she needs them then. So she works with the public and other pharmacists in a very small area. Oh, man. So I could see where that would be. Yeah. No one's going to invite you out for lunch. No. No. You no. got to get some Thunder Pants, Shell. Thunder Pants. Thunder Coming pants. soon. Yes. As soon as I invent it. In our it. merch shop. Gonna get you some thunder pants. Don't ask Jen and Liz. Thunder pants. We could just use our old underpants we don't want anymore. Sell sew them for a lot of money. Pads. Then it's we'll buy them pads and too. we'll sew some pads so you can smell them or wear them. Thunder pants. They're your underpants. They're your the underpants. Everyone's clapping. Wow. <laughs> All 25 people. All 25 people. This next question's from cashmoney at whiteguy.com. Oh, this is going to be good. You know, I haven't heard enough of these. I think this is a minority. So, right. you know. Mm. Thank God. It's, it's good that they're finally represented, given a voice, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Giving a voice to themselves. Chick show. Um, this is from Mr. Mister. And Mr. Mister asks... I am a big, important man with a law degree who has had sex. 
Whoa, whoa, this is our first one. I am wow. so nervous. Like our first law degree and person who's had sex. I'm so nervous wow. right now. Wow. Oh boy. This is amazing. I hope it's not like the question isn't about either of those two things. Oh no, the question is how can I show people how important I am? Oh, wow. Easy. Get Easy. a boat. Get a boat. Duh. Mm -hmm. Get a boat. Duh. That's your first step. Get and a then... fiberglass boat. Get a chain shop. Chain share. Get a chain share. Shop out the fiberglass <laughs> boat oh, and oh, show like, everybody the boat still floats. Yeah, you know, park that boat in your driveway and never use it. Just driving around. That's around. better advice. <laughs> Just drive the boat around. Yeah, on a hitch. Right. Yeah. Just like, just I gotta go around. dock my boat, but you're just driving for 45 yeah. minutes you're just around driving your around, neighborhood. Stopping at gas stations, talking about how you're about to dock your boat. Yeah. Such a pain in the butt, right? And how much money it costs oh, every year to so dock your boat. Oh, man. I mean, who cares about money? I, mean, I have I, a lot of green. I've I had a lot sex. of green. I've had so much sex, <laughs> so. so. Don't really care about money. This boat's a real pain in my ass, but I love it. I love it. Like I love my it. wife. <laughs> I have sex with my wife. And my boat. And I have a law degree. <laughs> and I've had sex. I've had sex with my law with degree. With my law degree and my boat. Yeah. A little rough, but and it's my full of wife. prestige. Air quotes. Air quotes. Air quotes. Wife. Wife. There you go, cash money. Easy. Easy. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> I got another drink. Wow. You're so lucky. <laughs> You're so lucky someone, someone here. Mm -hmm. Go and get you drinks. That's so nice. Cool. Sam? <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't be bothered. Okay, okay next right. question. Okay, Dumb Donnie asks, I like lift heavy shit in gym, but how I make brain smart. Strong too. Peanut butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really love your patience. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe that is, is that from Flowers, right? Isn't there a mouse that? Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, I thought you were taking it from that. No, uh, I'm not that smart. Oh. I just say things that come into my head, and I didn't like peanut butter. Yeah. Okay, that's just your. Go -to. But that is, but that is from Flowers. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't. If your muscles are strong, I don't feel like you need to make brain strong too. Just leave brain dumb. Yeah, brain can be dumb. Yeah, brain get dumb. body strong. Get body strong. Leave brain dumb. Make make woman smart before you store store stuff in woman smart brain. Yeah, grab woman you see. Yeah, make her your woman. Yeah, club club woman, drag yeah, woman. drag club woman home. That's why hair is long. Oh, you meant I thought you meant like go to a club and <laughs> oh drag a woman home, but you meant club a woman. Club or a woman, can, club a club woman, woman at go club. club go club to go woman club, drug club woman. woman. <laughs> Drug woman, club woman. Yeah. Drag home, have woman. Yeah. Woman makes decisions. Yeah. You go gym. Make body strong. Yeah, make body strong. You go gym. Woman's brain strong, you make body strong. Yeah, but your woman brain, your brain. Yes. <laughs> We solved it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Cool. Right. That's yeah. awesome. That was good. I felt yeah, yeah. that. Oh, damn. I wish more questions were that easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's... Did we do it? Is that 11 questions? Uh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. And I think... Wow. I mean, I, I think that's all of them. I mean, except for Gary... Don't worry. We're going to plan a special episode yes, and we're going to tackle your life, man. One sentence and and or but at a time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of effort put into it, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it. Line by line. Yeah, we'll, we'll line by line, you know, go through it, but not care. No. Mm -hmm. You know. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Not as fun as today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing ever will be. No. no. This is my best favorite day. <laughs> All downhill from here. Well, the rapid fire answering question session is over. It's done. So. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so Congratulations much. Thank you. to you. Yeah. All 25 you of you who made it here. You guys have been so polite, so quiet. So quiet. Look, yeah. they're rubbing their fingers together instead of clapping. That's so respectful. That's so polite. That's so polite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. They don't want to fry your um, jizma jube. <laughs> yes. The official name for my 
equipment is yep. just a machine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll start a GoFundMe account for your jizma jube. Yeah. Pay for Liana's jizma jube. It's where she puts all her jube. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's exactly. She jizzes right. it right in there. Yeah. So it makes the it's, it makes the podcast go boom boom funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Views out funny. Mm. Boop, boop. You guys nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Once again. Thank you. I mean, come on. Every time I show up to one of these, I'm like, is this the one, one we don't nail it? Never. It's never happened. Yes. <laughs> never happened. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> we just keep nailing it. I'm good. All right. You good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So. Yeah. Boo. And the beat drops. Do, 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 don't ask, ask Jen on this. Boo! Spring break. <laughs> Don't ask Jen and Liz. We told you. But you did it anyway. Fucking idiots. Fucking <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck, you. <laughs> Fuck you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.